I recently purchased this weighted vest. I got it for weighted calisthenics. It's 40 pounds. It feels like a lot more, especially if I've pushed myself up onto gymnastics rings or if I'm working on a pull-up or really any calisthenic motion that I've gotten acclimated to my own body weight, adding a little bit more weight increases load and it creates a, a more challenge. This is a really nice way you can also work on the TORU. By adding this extra 40 pounds, it makes me aware of my alignment. So let's look at it. So back foot is 45. Right from the get-go, even sinking down into that back foot, I have to be really mindful that I'm not rocking the hip up, which is always the case, but with that added 40 pounds, it's even more obvious. Step. Shift the weight. The main thing, though, I like about it is I can really feel, if I've leaned forward, how that is wanting to drop my weight forward. That added weight is going to pull me forward. So I need to keep my alignment such that the chest is up and I can let my energy sink down into the front foot and really root me. So shifting back, weight over the back foot, open, push the back foot, and same thing. I don't want to lean forward. I want to keep everything aligned so I can sink the weight down really apparent with this extra 40 pounds. 45. Open. Shift the weight. Keeping the chest up. Sinking the lower part of the spine down to root. So I'm in my office. I have a balance pad here. I've never tried this with the balance pad. I actually have done Torius with the balance pad, but not with this new weighted vest. So let's give it a try. So the thing with the balance pad is it's very unstable because as your weight drops into maybe the side of your foot, it really drops in and it can throw you off balance. So you have to use your stabilizers much more. It's nice even just by itself with the Torius or really any Qigong activity. But with the weighted vest, it's going to be even more challenging. So same thing, if my weight goes forward, oh, I can feel that really drop me into the foot. So I need to keep that chest up and allow everything to sink down. Shift back. Open. Yeah, I can really tell when I'm off balance. So this is going to be a great training exercise to really work on where my weight is and work on the positioning and balance especially coming back. I need to sink my weight down and feel rooted into that back foot. Open, forward, keeping the chest up so I can sink my weight down. So I often describe this activity to students as if my pelvis and everything above that is on a conveyor belt, kind of like a half gallon of milk. I don't want that to tip over. I want to think about that conveyor belt moving the pelvis forward, moving the pelvis back. That movement's coming from the push on the foot, but I'm not tipping that, uh, it feels off balance, not tipping that container over I'm sliding it forward and letting everything drop into the front foot.